Many of us that live in and around Chorley have probably at some point in time travelled along Park Road. But how many of us have given any thought or consideration to the origin of this historic highway? Chorley is on the route of the A6 which before the opening of the M6 was one of the primary north-south highways, running from Luton in Bedfordshire to Carlisle in Cumbria. The A6 was named as such after the First World War and is based on a centuries old network of highways which stretched back to Roman times and possibly earlier. The original route of this highway that passes through Chorley ran along Bolton Street, Market Street, Water Street and finally Preston Street. The Chorley section of the road was turnpiked in 1726 with the responsibility being given to the Wigan and Preston Turnpike Trust. The turnpiking of roads was used by the government in order to allow private trusts to improve and maintain the highways especially as the growth of industry required a more efficient and improved road network. Turnpike trusts were bodies set up from the 18th century by individual Acts of Parliament, with powers to collect road tolls for maintaining the principal roads in Britain. The Wigan and Preston Turnpike Trust, north of the Yarrow, held a meeting in 1821 to order improvements to sections of the highway that passed through Chorley. These included the building of Park Road. The improvement that the building of Park Road would make was to bypass the highway where Market Street met Church Brow, which descended to Water Street below on its journey to Preston Street. As can be seen from this painting by John Bird, painted circa 1790 to 1817, the steep slope caused a difficulty to the easy flow of the traffic, was exceptionally dangerous for large and heavy carts and stagecoaches, and probably virtually impossible to use during the winter snow and ice, or for that matter, any heavy rainfall. For centuries, this part of the highway proceeded down Church Brow, crossed over a bridge, over the River Chore and along Water Street to join Preston Street. However, those travelling on foot could take advantage of a shortcut by climbing chapel steps and following a path that to cut across the Chorley estate. This is a plan of the Chorley Hall Estate of about 1730. The yellow line is the old footpath as it passes the chapel and the red line is approximation of the lie of Park Road as it passes from Market Street to the pathway. Park Road then continued along the line of the pathway till it met Preston Street. The construction of Park Road can be split into three sections. The first, coloured green on the map, is the construction of the embankment. The second, coloured yellow, is the link to the old pathway. And finally, the third, coloured red, is the road built over the line of the old footpath. In April 1822, an advertisement appeared in the Preston Chronicle inviting tenders for the construction of a five foot wide stone culvert with retaining walls. To link Market Street to the route taken by the footpath required not only the river Chore to be culverted but also the deep ravine through which it flowed to be filled in. This involved the moving of 32,000 cubic metres of soil and a road constructed across the embankment extending along the route of the old footpath as it crossed Chorley Hall Estate 
to join Preston Street. This route became Park Road. As a further point of interest, this information appears in the book The Turnpike Road in England, 1663 to 1840. Whether the loan highlighted was a consequence of the cost of these improvements is not known. The construction of the embankment changed the outlook of the area between the end of Water Street and Hollingshead Street, known as Chorley Bottoms. Perhaps this, and the regular flooding of the River Chor, made Hollingshead Street a less favourable place for the leading and wealthy citizens of Chorley to reside, as it once was. Whatever the reason, Park Road was soon being populated by the wealthy and elite, as large houses appeared along its eastern side. Many of these houses were built for the cotton manufacturers and mill owners. During the 1860s, however, development was brought to a halt with the onset of the cotton famine, brought about by the American Civil War, causing a loss of income in the cotton towns of Lancashire, of which Chorley was one. When incomes improved, the houses built were less grand and in keeping with a more middle class Victorian style. The western side of Park Road was not developed until after 1900 when the Chorley Hall estate started to release land. Today, Park Road is no longer on the A6, being integrated into the A581. In the late 80s, early 90s, the A6 was diverted to the east of the town centre. It would seem that roads are constantly moving.